Jaina Solo. Daughter of Leo Organa and Han Solo, Jaina is a Jedi student of Luke Skywalker. Like her father, she is also a crack pilot and a skilled mechanic. And like her mother, she is a born leader. Hello, welcome back to Centurion's Corner. Today I'm bringing you a review of Star Wars The Black Series, Jaina Solo from Legends. Now, I bought her online for from XS Stock for $9.99, which I thought was a bit of a steal. I've also heard quite good reviews of about her online as well. Um, I wouldn't necessarily actually probably purchase this character due to the fact that she's a Legends character. And... Um, yeah, I mean, normally I'm a clone trooper, imperial kind of guy, um, but I'm a, also a bit of a completionist, so I thought I'd pick her up. And that where she's got so good, sort of good reviews online, I thought, hey, and for nine ninety nine, I thought she'd be a character that'd be a lot more money as well. So I'm not one to beat around the bush about a box. So here's the front part of it. It's got a bit of drawing on it. Normal side. Number 56, and also the back of the box. So without further ado, let's just crack this open. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do like a, a first impressions kind of sort of thing. So I'm just going to pop her out, have a look at the figure. Not too worried about the accessories at the moment. Um, just see what she looks like. And then I'm going to go off camera, have a good old look at her, and then come back with a, an actual review of her. So let's pop her open. Okay, this is her out of the box. So first impressions, it's not too bad. She feels solid for a female character. Um, comparing her to um, Princess Lear and a couple of other sort of um, female black series that I have, I've been quite impressed with them actually. And uh, normally they're just always. Sometimes I feel a little bit flimsy and they cop out on the uh, on the actual sculpts and stuff on their arms and whatnot. But she feels solid. She looks good. She's got quite a good detail there. And um, yeah, first impressions feels like a good figure. So I'm gonna go off camera now. And have a good old look at her and then uh, I'll come back. Well, 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 welcome back. So, I can see why people love this figure, she's so versatile. That is really surreal for a figure, to be honest. And the amount of detail that's gone into her, being just a Legends character that's not even like, uh, you know, run of the mill main characters, you know, just to sell a line or a tell lot, toy line or a, a film. You know, she's just, they didn't even have to put that much detail into this character to really sell her. It's only going to sell to a majority of people and probably not a lot on this. You're a completionist or just someone who might like the character that's on the shelf but a lot of people that probably look at it and go I don't know who that is, I ain't going to get that, it's not from the new film but boy you're missing a treat if you're not getting it you've got a pilot outfit which is like this um, so you've got um, the helmet, part of the accessories and this whole harness as well is removable so literally she becomes like a like a black wig widow-esque kind of character so Taking a closer look at these accessories. So this is a helmet. Very sort of Luke Skywalker's uh, in black. Made of a sort of softer vinyl. It's not hard or anything, so you can give it a little bit of a squish. Another accessory is a lightsaber hilt and obviously with a removable blade she can even hold the lightsaber with both hands 
with her versatile elbows and arms. She's got like a pink blade. It doesn't look purple to me, it looks very sort of pinky, pinky red. Mind saber. She's also got a hand solo blaster. Like DL44, I think they're called. But obviously she's got no scope or anything on there. And it looks more like the original uh, World War gun that was used for it. And even the colouring as well. At first I didn't think it was painted. Um, I thought it was just a one old solid colour. But no, it's definitely got the grips and bits here in place. So I've taken a look at her flight suit. Very X-wing type. All the old buttons down in the harness. And to pop the harness off, it's just a, a little peg here. And there's a peg just behind here as well. The other side doesn't come. Oh, it doesn't have a peg, so you just got to literally pull it off. And now she becomes a like a Black Widow. To be honest, to me, she looks more of a love child between Mara Jade and Aiden from Battlefront. There's just something about the blackness of it, and obviously like the coolness of the lightsabery stuff as well. It's pretty cool. Uh, all her sort of uh, articulations, all there. So obviously she's just got normal head rotation. Look down and up. Rotation at the uh, shoulders, and then her arms do a bit more than a 90 degree. Uh, but they they come right across as well. So I don't know whether it's because of the size of the figure, but. You literally could just put her in any pose, like straight away. She got hinged at the uh, at the wrists, oh, just a little bit hard at the moment. Not that one, though. Um, so she's got a rotation at the uh, just below the chest, and also just here as well. She's got there's another sort of crease in the pivot on there. No, I'm not had a black series figure that's got this so far so she goes right down with a little sort of crunch there and then goes back that far ouch going on to a belt it does a bit weird like I know most black figures don't really have um, a sort of waist rotation but she just feels very solid from this point down so I think they kind of missed something there. Um, this one's frozen at the top here, but then don't want to move it because that is actually glued. It's not pegged or anything. It's, it's glued in there. So then we've got a rotation on this leg. Legs can go out this far. Not on that back. Just a little bit further on the other one. We've got a double jointed knee. And then we've got Pivot and rocker. At the feet. So yeah, I mean, literally she's a really good solid figure. And I would highly recommend anyone's really to put on the shelf just as a rebel. Um I'd be interested to see if anyone's done like a custom for of a Mara Jade Mara Jade of her. I do find she's a bit hard to stand up though, that's the only thing. Um but it could be a case that I've got this this foot here is very sort of out of peg. I have pulled it off and um, we tried to pull it back on. Well, I have put it back on, but uh, it's just gone back to the same place as well. So I don't know if I need to maybe dribble it down a little bit just to get that foot firmer in. And I think that's what's stopping her from actually standing up upright most of the time. Oh, here we go. Face sculpt looks great. You know, I can see there's a sort of like a hand solo smirk there. Um, but also I can see a probably a better reminiscence of Pre Princess Lear than what the um, A New Hope Princess Lear has. So, uh, yeah. I think she's pretty cool. And uh, I would highly recommend picking her up. And if you're in the UK, yeah, the excess stock. I, I don't get paid. They're not paying me to advertise their thing, but I think for 9 99 
I think it needs to be shouted out there because I think she's a pretty uh, still character. So, um, yeah. So, keep tuned, guys. Comment below. Subscribe. See if you're going to pick up this figure now. And um, I'll see you next time. Bye.